So a little update on the mountain kitty. Uh, we got the motor out. Looks like a uh, piston failure. Uh, it's got 4,000 miles on it, so I mean, I don't know, who knows why these things go and for what reason, right? Nobody really knows for sure. All I know is I didn't have to helicopter it out. <laughs> Good morning, parts please. Yeah, what can I do for you? Hey, I'm looking for case halves for a 2018 Mountain Cat 800, two stroke, two cylinder. You wouldn't have any there. 2018 Mountain Cat? Yeah, 800. Uh, they want 1400 for just case halves. I personally think I can fix it. I'm gonna try that first, doing a little welding. The case half isn't that bad. Uh, new pistons and rings are cheap. As long as the bearings in the bottom end are good. So what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna rip it all apart and just check it over, make sure the water pump's good, make sure, like I say, the bearings are okay. I'm not cheap, it's just I, uh, I see a little bit of a challenge ahead of me, so I kind of accepted it and I'm gonna try to fix it. So it doesn't look that complicated to take this apart. Looks pretty easy actually. So we're gonna get right to it. On this new SeaTac motor, they inject the fuel right into here through a hole in the cylinder. So right there on the back of the cylinder, there's a hole. Inside, there's a hole right here. That's where the fuel comes shooting into this groove on the piston. Neat. So that's your monitoring system right here is the reeds. That controls how much fuel goes in and the air, how fast. So of course, the faster the velocity, the more these open and give you more fuel. That's how they control it nowadays. Everybody knows when you heat up aluminum, it expands, right? Might be hot. They knew the motor would have to be ripped apart, so they have a tool just for it. <laughs> uh, water pump should be good. Like Kevin said, it's all kind of a sealed unit, right? So should be no issues with the water pump. Whew, at least something's good. Cool. Okay. Even, not even drinking. Oh, she's coming. Gooey. We might be able to weld that in. Oh, I don't think so. So as you guys can see the damage, this little piece here is missing compared to this one. We're gonna take it over to our welding guy who fixes motors and just see if he can if there's any possibility of fixing this, I know there's some guys out there looking at this right now going, oh, that's easy. And then the next guy's going, oh, you're screwed. So it's kind of a 50-50 at this point. Uh, I've seen a lot worse. I'd put a plate in here and weld it in and then grind it out. That's what I would do, the die grinder. I mean, it's not, it's not a warping point. It's not here or on the sides or anywhere. I think it should be it okay. It definitely but. has to be smooth here. Well, that's and for... That's bent up for flow. Yeah. But that's got a lump in it. I'm sure I can, yeah. He should be able to get his TIG torch right here, even from this side, maybe a little bit. Get a little bit in there. for sure. Even if he fills it in a little bit, I mean... Uh, Guy can get at it with a with a die grinder, right? Yeah, I cut myself again. Ruby, what do you tell if you think Digi9's a shit? Faster. Yeah, faster. Sit. What do you say about Digi9? What do you say? That's right, it's the shit! 
you know, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, Look at all the schmagma in there. That's good. So the bottom piece is good. So we just gotta, and the crank I think is okay. You can't get shit into these bearings, can you? Oh yeah, you can too. Absolutely, they gotta be locked out. Absolutely, yep. That's a big bearing. But these things are massive. That's why cranks don't go very often. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. I think it can be fixed. If we can get that case half fixed, I can get this running. So case halves, uh, should we still run that cylinder down to Buddy and see what he thinks? So guys, we're gonna order a cylinder. I mean, if I'm putting new motor pieces back together, no sense putting something used back in there, right? Let's, uh, let's go with new, so. Ordered one of these bad boys up, they're only 300 bucks. I uh, should be able to get away with a couple grand, get this thing going again. It's not terrible, better than five. So hey, let's go have a beer. So guys, we're gonna go with some new parts. Uh, we're gonna change the case halves. We're not even gonna bother welding that because it's just gonna end up being a shit show anyways. Uh, a long block, so the whole motor is five grand, it gets everything. That would be the better way to go. Short block is three grand, but you got no cylinders, no pistons, no nothing. So now you're back up to four anyways. So we're just gonna spend two grand. I got an exchange cylinder coming. I got uh, new case halves coming, new gaskets. I mean, it's nothing we haven't done before. So we'll slap this baby back together, get it in, and we'll be back on the snow in no time. Sending you guys more videos. Subscribe! <laughs>